So now for the really fun bit, I'm going to show you how to swap your images around. So what you want to do, click on your section and these three images here, I'm just going to change. It's really simple. Just double click. It will bring up your media gallery. Now these are ones I uploaded earlier. They're from Source Co. I absolutely love their stock images. So what you want to do there is literally just double click on it and then click on here and it will change your picture for the new one. So it's so easy. Just double click and click and double click and click. There we go. We have changed our entire header and that took four seconds maybe. So I'm like, I'm looking at them now and I'm thinking, I like that. Maybe this one I want to be a more kind of full image in the middle. So I'm just going to double click on that again. And let's go for something a little more like this maybe. I'm not sure of that one either. And let's go for something like that. There we go. Love it. Perfect. Amazing. And you'll see my pictures match my color scheme. And it's just, ah. Uh, stock images are like my favorite thing. That's really sad. Um, so again, this section here, I'm just going to double click on here. So about Jillian. So these might be pictures of me. I don't have pictures of me. But I do have these lovely stock images. So I'm just going to double click on these and add them in. And then we change canvas views, double click again, I might want this one, double click again, and let's go for this one. So I'm just going to preview that so you can see how it all looks now. You'll see our website starting to come together. We have our own text that we added in, we have our own images. It's all lovely, it's all flowing, oh, I love it. So I'm just going to go ahead quickly, replace the images in this section. So again, like I said before, this is a site canvas. It will show up individually when you click on it, meaning these are going to show up across every page that this section is on. So I'm just going to double click on this and swap and swap and swap. There we go. Now these might not be uh, the sections that they're labeled as anymore because I don't do food photography. I'm not into restaurants, bloggers and brands. I don't do any photography actually, I'm a designer, but I'm going to pretend I'm a photographer here. This is going to be my, my engagement gallery. This is going to be my wedding gallery. And that's going to be my anniversaries. Have I spelled that correctly? Maybe. Um, you'll see when you click on this and go to click actions, it's linked to page package 3. So what that means is, if you update package 3 and rename that to anything, you're going to have to change the link just because it might break it. But if you're going to keep it package 3, it will still link and you just need to make sure this is your anniversaries package, which is fine. If I go into there, you'll also notice that this section has already updated because it's site canvas and we updated it on the homepage. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to change the background of the contact page. So you'll see this is a whole image and if you try and click on it, nothing happens. If you do double click on it though, this will appear in the right hand side or you can just go canvas background and it will appear there. This is because an image is set as the background for this section and the only way to update that is click on the image here. It will then take you to this and you can select the new image you want in place of that. So I'm going to go for this one. Wait for it to load. There we go. And you'll see the mobile one hasn't changed. That's because you can set different images for different devices because normally, like here, a desktop is a lovely landscape image and mobile is a portrait image. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select an appropriate portrait one. So maybe one like this because it's similar, but it's a portrait view. There we go. So again, if we go back to the home page, oh, beautiful. Now you can do this with your review section as well. It's in different canvas views, so you might want to put pictures per client gallery. So this one is by the Ritchie family. I might select one I took for their, for their shoot here. So I'm going to just put this one in, pretend that's their shoot. Lovely. Second one, the Thompson family. Again, I'm just going to select one from theirs and the Marwicks. Let's go in here and take this one. There we go. So you'll see how much of a huge difference this is already made, just adding in your own images and colors. It looks absolutely amazing. Sorry to toot my own horn. It looks amazing. Um, and it's just already such a huge change. Now, yes, just go through, just change all your images, 
feel free to go a little bit mad. What I'm going to show you now is if we go to a package, there are galleries here. So I'm going to ignore this top bit for now and click on here. So you'll see um, when you click on here, it comes up with gallery here, gallery settings, gallery images. You can see all of them here. If you try and double click on them, nothing happens. What you need to do is double click on the gallery or press manage images here and it takes you to the entire um, selection for the whole gallery. So here I'm just going to click on the top, press select, click here and bin. Now I've, I've emptied my gallery, it's a bit scary if we press save and come off there, it's grey. That just means you have no images there. Double click on it and what you're going to do, I'm going to hold the command, which on a Windows I think is alt, and I'm just going to select the pictures I want in my gallery. Just select a few ones here, perfect, and then press this blue button here and it will drag them all over. Now you can rearrange them because all these pictures are quite similar to each other in a way, so I want to kind of mix them up a little bit and hit save. It might take a minute because pictures are kind of big files, but they will load here. You'll see it's already loaded here. So instantly looking at this, I have two very similar images right next to each other and it looks weird. So if I just click on this, I don't need to go back in and double click. I can just click on it here and rearrange these like so. There we go. So much better already. Now if we go to preview, we'll see them all here. If I scroll down, the first time you load this, it will load a little bit slowly, but that's only because you're loading new images onto your browser that your browser is not saved yet. So click on these and wow, we're already just seeing huge change. It all just matches my new template. It is fantastic. I love it. So that is how you change your images on your templates. Feel free to go a little bit mad. You'll notice they do change on the um, mobile version as well. So for example, here they're squares, here they're kind of shorter rectangles. So make sure your images do match across your desktop and your mobile. You might want to take a look at them, pick different ones for different places, depending on the sizing, the shapes, things like that. But yes, once you change your images, the template will start to feel like yours and you will be able to alter your colors from there if they're not quite matching. It will just, it pulls it all together and it just it makes it feel exactly how you need it to feel. So go ahead, change your images, and I just, I can't wait to see what you create.